If you look at the students, uh, if you just you know look around the campus, they're all connected uh, to mobile devices. Uh, you know, they've got uh, handphones, tablets, laptops. These are the resources that we have in classroom. So that it, is a, it is a waste if you don't use these uh, resources because they will use their phones. I think the students simply need some training. They need to be trained to learn how to learn on their own. Instead of pen and paper based, with the multimedia submission of the assignment, it should make them their learning enjoyable. So I think it's a time for us to embrace the latest technology to speak their language. There's a team of six MS lecturers who um, develop lesson packages every week. So in the lesson package, we have video lectures. Each of us created the videos uh, using Camtasia. And we chunk the videos into 10-minute um, blocks so that the students are able to focus better. Most of the videos are embedded with formative quizzes. I use a screencast or matic to do the video. And uh, on the PowerPoint, maybe I use a uh, note general to write on it to explain the theory to them. After that, I will inform the student by using the WhatsApp to tell them the video is ready in Breadbox so that they can watch it. They can watch the video anytime, they can learn anytime. If they don't understand, they just stop it and rewind it and watch again until they understand. So they're in control of their learning. We came up with this uh, idea of uh, taking you know, these articles from the technology blogs and posting them up on, uh, on our Facebook uh, class group. Uh, so the idea is for students to read all these articles and comment on it. It could be just four or five sentences about what they really liked or didn't like about this uh, article. One of the other experiences was I tried using Twitter. Before students come to class, I get them to tweet an article tweet an article according to the theme. So let's say that particular day we are going to talk about discrimination against elderly. They use, use a hashtag to my class. So they take 3A05 for example. And before the class, I can just search on hashtag. It doesn't take a long time because I can just use my mobile and then I search for the hashtag and I can see which students have done their homework and which students have not. And they could be on their MRT when they, when they are doing this. Okay, we have a Diploma in Nautical Studies students who go out to sea for one year long. Uh, in the past, they have a correspondent course, which they bring a big stack of uh, notes, and then they need to submit their assignment back to school. Usually, these assignments will come in by mail. So right now, what we are trying to do is that by using the iPad, students can submit the assignment online. We plan to use the OneNote, Notes, Explain Everything, add model apps to collect the various formats of the assignments. With the iPad, they can record video, they can create a voiceover with the image. So it will increase the productivity of the students. There's this topic on eight forms of corrosion, whereby I teach them in lecture, this is what corrosion, this is what corrosion, followed by how to prevent them. I find it's very dry. So why not bring them for uh, our classroom to let them have a physically view what, uh, what type of corrosion. Freehand, I will group them, so and everyone got a smartphone. So each group, the leader will download this mobile apps called Cheer Shutter, and then in this mobile apps, we already have the instruction what to do, and also we have a standard template for them to fill in, and then at the end, they just need to submit. So I find it's very useful because one is very user friendly, and the second thing, it can enhance their learning. And the feedback that I get from my students are very encouraging and very positive. So I create a OneNote notebook, then I send a link to the students. So once a student receives, they can open in their own notebook. So that means if they are out on a field trip, if they are taking pictures, they can use their mobile phone to upload the information to the OneNote. The data information and the log sheets will be synchronized at all times. I also use Google Doc. They have to do a research online and I want them to share the information. So what is the best way to share is, you know, the traditional way is always everybody submit something and then you share, which I find that time consuming. So we have about four teams in a class and each team they contribute some research findings. I find that when they consolidate all their research, when they put it online, 
they can also find out what other teams have found out. And for me also to check on students on whether they understood the information well, whether they have done the research, whether they are ready for the project or before the empathy study. The, the initial challenge we had was okay, you know, so how do we gauge whether students are understanding what they are watching. So what I did was I started implementing this uh, a website uh, called Socrative, Socrative.com. Um, I said, okay, from next week, uh, we are, you're going to be quizzed about what you watched. And I post about three to four questions pertaining to the video. So it helps me gauge their understanding of the whole concept. In the class activity, I use a Socrative. I put up the MCQ, put it up on the board, so I can see how many students log in and do it at the same time. I mean, they choose the answer A, B, C, D. Huh? I can see the percentage. How well are they doing? So from that, I can understand whether they understand the concept or not. If they don't, I just explain to them. So what I get my students to do is that I add all the students, I post it on Blackboard, and they can click the link and they can add themselves. Once they are in this particular group, whether they are my students or not, all of them have the same access to the materials. So I created this wiki space for them. So every group started posting their PowerPoint slides. And there are six PowerPoint slides online. And I get each team to comment at least two PowerPoint slides which don't belong to them. By doing that, students can learn from their friends on how they did their PowerPoint slides. And you, you'll be surprised to see how students give constructive feedback. So that was the use of the uh, Blackboard, not just for the sharing or uploading materials, but they use it to, to talk to each other. Well, I think ICT is very important in, in education, uh, especially more so today than ever before. It's very awesome, very fun, very exciting. It's just information overload and they're all connected. I think the greatest challenge was um, in convincing the students to give this a try. They are very really used to sitting in a lecture theatre, listening to the lecture talk for two hours. They can watch a video anytime, they can learn anytime. And it's, it's not about how interesting the module is, it's more about the generation. I mean, the generation is such that they are multitasking, they're doing various things. I believe that it should reduce the workload of the staff and as well as it should improve the learning experience of the students. In every way, you know, it's, they can be in a bus, in the MRT, everywhere, not necessarily in the school. By providing them the platform, they contribute their ideas, they contribute their discussion, and with that, when they come to classroom, the discussion becomes more meaningful. And we as educators don't connect ourselves to technology and don't use technology efficiently within classrooms. Then how do you expect students to learn?